Welcome back guys in this lesson 8 of Facebook Ads Tutorial 2020 and uh, we would start about the first campaign which is the brand awareness campaign. Remember in my previous videos I talk I, I spoke about the universal purchase funnel I spoke about the purchase fund the, the kind of funnel that Facebook has for us which is ACC awareness consideration conversion right so it, it is like this it starts with a broader funnel then becomes a little little narrow and then finally it becomes narrow right see uh, we even discussed about users journey to purchase and when you talk about users journey to purchase our objective is not to just show them ads and simply expect them to buy that is not going to happen you simply have to drive them and 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 in that in that purchase journey you try and convince them that's when you will get more customers right so right so when you talk about funnel you first have to understand the funnel has to begin somewhere and that is exactly where we talk about brand awareness campaign it is the first stage of the funnel right you can't directly feed people into your funnel and expect these people to buy your product no no they have to go through certain stages and only then they'll they'll kind of be interested they'll show more interest they kind of engage with you and only then you'll be able to build their trust and 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 the trust will get them to buy your product right but somewhere it has to begin at one place and that's exactly what brand awareness campaigns will do here so you see brand awareness campaign which is under the awareness stage right so awareness is too big and then consideration will be a little small and then the conversion will be a little small right so so yeah so what uh, what I want to emphasize here is that we would learn about the brand awareness campaigns so brand awareness campaigns there's a little difference between brand awareness campaigns and the reach campaign and I have I have spoken to a lot of digital marketing experts or people you know who work with Facebook ads for several years and ask them what's a, what's that basic difference what's that what's that thing that will differentiate both the, the brand awareness campaign and the reach campaign and most of the time I find answers which say both are same no both are not same there, there's a thin line if both are same Facebook is not foolish enough to put both of them into two different uh, categories right so there's a there's a proper difference so first thing you have to remember is brand awareness is the one that initiate your purchase funnel right it, it sets the it sets the flow right so you can feed more people into brand awareness uh, campaigns and slowly those people kind of engage with you if you maintain that uh, you know the, the funnel marketing strategy right you don't see, show them ads and then show, tell them to ignore no there's no point in you know running the first campaign when you don't have a follow-up campaign and that is where marketing strategy is very very important the, the follow-up is very very important right yeah so I've spoken extensively in my last six videos so seven videos in fact and uh, so I would not want to reiterate what I've taught you and uh, so let's let's jump in and discuss about brand awareness now before I continue back for awareness once you go here right you see what Facebook has to say it says increase awareness for your brand by reaching people who are likely to be interested in it right that means when you create this campaign Facebook is going to serve your ads or put your ads before those people who are more likely to be interested that means see every time you know a person logs into Facebook Facebook knows the kind of behavior they exhibit right and Facebook collects that data and Facebook understands hey if I show this particular ad to him he might be more interested and when Facebook serves the ad see as an advertiser I create Facebook campaigns right and when I create a campaign called brand awareness I'm talking about the advertisers perspective users come because they want to consume content they come because they want to connect with family they want to see what's happening in their friends life or you know the, the, the people who are connected to the pages is following right but as an advertiser I want to reach my audience right and show them ads and I'm telling Facebook Facebook I am want to show my ads I'm, I'm, I'm creating campaigns I'm going to give you money right but my objective is I want people to remember my brand so the whole objective of brand awareness is to focus on one point remember guys one point right this is called ad recall lift we would extensively talk about this when you do Facebook uh, sorry YouTube campaigns when you run YouTube discovery ad campaigns and you know the non skippable ads and skippable ads you know they extensively talk about in fact the YouTube sales support team they extensively talk about one point called ad recall lift so because of these campaigns you see a lift in the ad recall and Facebook says I'll show you metrics also Facebook says when you run brand awareness campaign they kind of give you the estimated ad recall lift data right in in the reports you'll find a column called estimated ad recall lift so what Facebook does is they kind of do survey also it says hey we we at times we can even do survey to figure out those people who have been served with your ads will they remember will they be able to remember your ads next two days that means the point is Facebook wants to serve ads to people and expect and expect that these people will remember your ads even if somebody would ask them after two days and Facebook would even give them a survey and say hey would you do you remember this right so and, and and Facebook even gives you the number of people who kind of you know who kind of remember right so it says hey 1500 people kind of you know estimated ad recall that means 1500 people kind of said yes right to ads they have seen in last two days and what ad it was your ad 
right? So we, I, I would even take you through those uh, reports. So it's not just about campaigns. You got to understand the reports because you know, you know, you know, you'll not be able to optimize these campaigns if you don't have properly interpret the reports. So it's very important that and and most of the people I work with they just create campaigns and ignore the data. No, Facebook gives you a lot of dimensions. You can you know slice and dice the data. You can apply a lot of breakdowns. You can you can apply a lot of you know kind of you know what do you say? We call it segmentations, right? But segmentation is not the right word here, uh, right? So we we will slice and dice the data. Up and I, we try and understand what's working, what's not working, what kind of audience is more engaging with me, who's getting me more revenue, you know, what is working for my business, what is kind of, you know, you know, you know, making me lose my revenue and still not getting me good results. So yeah, we'll talk about more of those, those stuff and in my future videos, I'll extensively talk about these reports as well, right? And again, I'm telling you, uh, this is not a channel where you learn some basic stuff. My whole point is to teach you something that we really practice. Now these days, you know, you know, being a Google partner for seven years, we spend close to seven hundred thousand dollars every year. So we're not a typical, uh, you know, training institute. No, we're the we're the we're the only digital marketing bootcamp in the country, the finest bootcamp. And uh, I, I can I can bet my 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 you know I, I don't know you know my bootcampers are better than people with ten years of experience, right? You, I, I can give them in writing. You bring anybody with 10 years of experience, my boot campers are better than these people. What my boot campers can do, I don't think these people can even fathom. Right? So that, that's such high end. And that's why my people are placed for in big companies, you know, even before they complete their boot camp, companies come and take them away. Right? They want our boot campers. We've seen people, freshers, freshers got placed with companies for 11 lakhs, 16 lakhs. Right? It's because of the skills they have. It's just because they drive more growth of a company and companies don't want to neglect that. Companies don't want to ignore. But what I've seen uh, these days is, you know, everybody the digital market is because they know one campaign, they think they're expert. And not that. Guys, please learn, be serious, right? If you want to, if you want me to teach you something beyond, right, from my experience, right, because we invest huge money, huge money, right? I'm not that guy, you know, you know, where I, you know, talk stuff, right? No, no, I preach what I practice. We invest huge money. I can show you reports. You know, you, you go mad if you see the reports, the kind of spend that we manage, right? And we run, we run two Google partner agencies and we run extensive Facebook campaigns as well. And uh, the, kind of, the kind of campaigns that we run, the kind of measurement plans we implement for our clients using pixels, they're kind of very, 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 very high end, very high end. And because, and, and to become an effective digital marketer, you've got to understand how GTM works. And it's very sad that people don't even know what GTM is. They don't know how to use GTM. And these people can't even call themselves digital marketers. Forget about that. So, yeah. so see the, the whole point of this uh, channel is to teach you, empower you so that you can learn more. Each day you grow you know, with us, right? You can grow with our channel, watch our videos, and we want you to excel. You know, that's a whole that's a whole point and that's that's where my passion lies that's where my interest lies right so yeah so the whole point is remember first point add recall lift and facebook even gives you the report called estimated ad recall lift i will show you that in a while right so when i create this campaign i have written some uh, uh, materials as well yeah so i'm going to create an ad for you as well so you'll have a better idea right so what facebook does is by evaluating how much time people spend looking at different ads facebook can now tell which people are more likely to watch and recall your ad facebook randomly don't want to show your ad because you said hey i want brand awareness so when you say brand awareness you will go back and question google right reality in reality it, it's like you're questioning google google i told you to run brand campaigns the reason why i told you because i want people to remember me right that is why the motive of brand awareness campaign is ad recall lift in fact the delivery type in this campaign is ad recall i'll show you that i'll show you that right so facebook knows and facebook knows who, who are more likely to watch and recall your ad and optimize campaign accordingly so the main algorithmic function, that's why I always talk about understanding the functional significance of each of these uh, you know, settings that you have in Facebook. So the algorithmic function here in brand awareness campaign is to increase the brand or ad recall. Rate. And remember, you know, generally, I think if you're in digital marketing, you should know it. You know, it takes six to seven impressions for somebody to even notice your ad. Just because you serve your ads, people are not going to notice your ads, right? Had that been the case, they're served with so many ads. Right. I was reading a book, uh, you know, very recently, and the book says it's an assault on the mind of a user. Right. You know, wherever he goes, just goes down to see number of ads. So there's an assault going on, and kind of we can't, we can't even remember every ad. That's why it takes six to seven impressions for somebody to even notice it, and forget about you know recognizing them. It might take a little longer. Right. That's why it is always good that you come up with different messages. Right. And that's why I always talk about don't serve one ad, one creative. You kind of you, you have to create ads that will resonate with them. You kind of create ads that will make them stop, right? Even if they scroll down, they should again go up to, to, to figure out what I missed. 
that that's how your ad should be that's how enticing your ad should be right engaging with them is an all to other issue they can engage only when they start recognizing you not when they directly you know see you right so they, they have to recognize you and only then start engaging with you right so the whole point is brand recall lift so i'm going to go create campaigns here so i create campaigns right so when i create a campaign here right it's asking me split testing i will i will tell you about split testing right we also call it a by b testing and uh, if you want to go beyond that study more about that we also talk call it as multivariate testing or a by b testing or split testing we will talk about what's the difference between both of them and uh, yeah Right, Com campaign budget optimization. Remember what what Facebook is doing these days. They're trying to follow the you know the process, the approach that we have in Facebook, uh, Google Ads. In Google Ads, you give budget at campaign level, right? You don't give budget at the ad groups level. But in Facebook, you give budget at the ad set level. So what Facebook wants to do is they want to give you option to set the budget at ad group level or at the campaign level. If you set budget at the ad group level, only that particular ad group will use that budget. The other ad set, the other ad set will not use that budget. So if the other ad set is having an underspend, that money will still be like that. So the other the other ad group will not be able to use that underspend amount. But if you give that budget at the campaign level, what happens is Facebook checks which ad set is performing well. So it allocates more of that budget to ad sets which are performing well. So I will not talk about the budget optimization. Maybe I can create a particular video for that. For now, I create a campaign. I typically want to jump into campaigns, right? So there's a small difference between brand awareness and things. Brand awareness want to show ads to people who are more likely to remember it. And Facebook says, who are more likely to remember your ad, even if they are asked after two days, right? Estimated ad recall lift. You can go and check in your reports. You add a column called estimated ad recall lift, you'll find if you're running a brand awareness campaign. And this report is only available for brand awareness campaign, video view campaigns, and the engagement campaigns. These are the only three objective types where you'll find this report. So, and, and again, and remember, this campaign's objective is not to drive sales. This campaign is to set the tone. Sales will happen eventually. Sales will happen because you do a lot of stuff. So in a, it's a process. In the process, sales will happen. But process has to begin at somewhere, and that that place is brand awareness campaigns, right? So I, I so I created I created the objective. I selected the campaign and then the ad set, so I can give whatever ad set name I want. So you generally follow a proper naming convention. So I am running GTM ads. So I say GTM ads. In Hyderabad, I'm running, and um, I'm targeting people. I know my I know my audience, so so I I say hey people about a 21 or I say 22 to 30 or, or so 40 years and because our bootcamp program is only for people who are experienced we don't take everybody we're very selective we want people who are smart out of the bug thinkers so it's not a typical institute where everybody can come and say we want to join the program no 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 it's a very very tough program very high-end program not everybody can really do that so we expect people to be really smart right and come with that proper mindset so yeah, so we're targeting 22 to 40 and only targeting Hyderabad for now, right? This campaign, it does not mean we have, we don't have students. We have students across the country. Right? We have international students as well, right? So custom audience, I will talk about it later. So if you have custom audience already created, you can go and choose them. Or if you want to create a new one, you can create a new one, but I would not recommend it here. We'll talk, that's a different story. So locations, you can choose which locations you want your ads to be targeted, right? Again, when you choose about locations, you have four locations here, four options. People living or recently in this location. That means people who live here or people who are recently in this location. Example, if I target if I target a, a locality in Hyderabad called Panchagutta. So people who are recently in this location, they, they don't reside in this location, but they're recently in the location. And how does Facebook know recently in this location? So Facebook GPS, you know, Facebook kind of gets your GPS location every two minutes. So if you travel past through Panchagutta Central, right the the mall so even if you cross maybe two miles facebook might still say hey he, he's just there because it gets it gets like two minutes for facebook to get updated right so facebook says he was recently in that location so maybe so people targeting those people and uh, you know those people see the ads people living in the location who are physically in the location people who are recently in the location just wouldn't store him wouldn't stay there at the recent location next one traveling now facebook says that facebook puts you on the traveling bucket when you go from your the hometown your living location, the hometown, 150 miles and beyond. So when Facebook identifies that you are away from your own location and 150 miles away, then Facebook puts you under a new bucket called traveling, right? Because they exhibit different behavior, they want to see different ads, and there might be certain businesses who want to target these people only, right? Right, and then you have the age group, yeah, location, you have the option to uh, you know target particular uh, you know, city as well. You can even do zip code targeting, but I'm not going to go there because my focus is not there. My focus is to show you the objectives behind creating a brand awareness campaign. So you can go and choose uh, India. If I don't want uh, India, I can simply go and choose Hyderabad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and type in here Hyderabad. Hyderabad. 
you see right now I want to tell you one thing we're targeting entire hydropath that means hydropath is too big so it's more of 25 miles right but if you can decrease it it will only come down to 1 mile or 10 miles the minimum is 10 miles right no question what I want to do so what you can do is if you want to reduce the the radius of a target location you can drop a pin and when you drop a pin the minimum is one mile but I would teach you in my further videos you can target people who are staying in a particular residency if you have a big hundred story building and you want to target only those people who stay in that building you can even do that that means you can drop a pin and about one mile right one mile is point one half kilometer you know we can even target people who are in that particular mall or in that particular building that's how accurate you can make we will talk about that in my other videos for now i would not i would not want to use that so ignore and then you have gender you can select the language, uh, age you can select gender and again you no know, there are certain businesses in facebook we call special ad category right special ad category there are certain businesses for which you can't choose genders you can't choose age groups why because you know for example if i have a vacancy i can't simply run my ads and say i want only men because that discriminatory that's ra that racism right and facebook does not encourage that so if you are if you are promoting a, a product or a service and which falls into a special ad category right special ad set facebook does not give you certain targeting options right so language i can select targeting options again facebook has three type of targeting options majorly you call it demographics interest and behaviors right so for example if i want to target all those people who are interested in social media so what I can do, I can type social media, it will give me all suggestions. I can target people based on the job titles, employers. I create a detailed video. I will create a detailed video about the targeting methods. For now, I, my intention is not to talk on that. So so you can go and check. You know. But be careful, don't because they're all social media, so don't simply keep adding them. You check job title. This means these are the people who said in their profiles that they work as a social media job title. Employers, right? Right. And then you have social media interest, they're interested, social media strategy, social media marketing social media examiner right people who are employees of social media uh, examiner right so social media marketing right so once you